everyone. Welcome back to Genotopia. It's Gina and the beautiful Miss Bella. And uh, I'm just wanting to love on my baby a little bit. Yeah, Mama wanting to love on her baby a little bit. Look at this pretty girl. Look at this pretty girl purring up the door. So let me give my baby some treats so she can hop down and we can get into opening my Ipsy box that I got this month. There you go, baby. So I've had a really nice day when we, and uh, Sarah tried on her wedding dress for her mom and my mom and her other grandmother, Lisa's mother, and uh, she looked absolutely beautiful. So um, here is my Ipsy box for the month of March 2018. This box is so good. Let me open it up and show it to you. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. When you open it up, here's what it looks like insi inside. Now I got a Bella hair all over me. But it says, hey hipster, your March Glam Bag Plus is here to help put your best face forward. So when we open it up, the first item I see is by Mael, or Mael Beauty. It is a mascara, and I have never tried anything from this brand. It is Be Of and Beyond Mascara. So let's open this up. I still got Bella hair on me. It comes in the shade black. It says, um, when you can't be bothered to fumble with eyelash curler, just reach for this mascara. It pumps up your natural lashes with drama. Minus the pinch, the curved brush, and a creamy, creamy formula, this mascara delivers intense pigment and gives them extra curl in a single motion. Well, that sounds really good. The packaging on this is absolutely beautiful. And let's open it up and check out this wand. So I am really anxious to try this and um, try this on a Try it Tuesday. It has a beautiful big wand, which is my favorite type of wand, and it is curved. It uh, has just a faint mascara smell, but I'm loving on the packaging, so I am anxious to try this. This has a $20 retail value, so I'm excited about getting that product. The next product is by Pure Pure Lease. It is a buttermy orange cream sickle body butter, and this retails for $24. Um... It says uh, you can use this with your regular skin care skincare routine. Um, it is a body butter fortified with coconut oil to soften and nourish your skin. The orange and vanilla don't just smell good, but they rejuvenate dull skin while calming uh, um, with the anti-inflammatory benefits. So let's open this up. Take the safety seal off. Oh man, that smells wonderful. And let's try just a dab of this on my hand. Because my skin definitely needs some nourishment. And I can definitely already see a difference in my skin. And it smells divine. So, uh, I will definitely use every drop of that because... Um, I love anything that smells great, plus I like Pure Lease, and this is Candy Johnson and Pure Lease collab, so liking on that. The next product I see is by Benefit. It is called Sunbeam. It is a bronzer. It retails for $26. It is a Sunbeam Golden Bronze Complexion Highlighter. Uh, it's We like the beach and it's really only because we glow when uh, the sun le the, the glow of the sun leaves on our cheeks. So let's open this up and try this out. Here's what the packaging looks like. It comes with a brush applicator. So let me brush a little bit of this on my hand. And let's see what this does. Ooh, it gives a really pretty soft glow. I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but I will definitely give that a try. Definitely. 
so benefit, I will give you a try. I will give you the benefit of the doubt and give you a try. The next product is Farrah Brushes. It is a five-piece eye perfection set. And you all know that I love this fair brush that I got in a box a few months back. That is my new favorite brush. So I'm anxious to try this five-piece set. It retails for $50. They have uh, silver handles and furls. And they're not quite as pretty as that other brush. But hey, if they work, I really don't care. Here is what they look like compared to the other brush. But um, and this one looks like that brush right there. So, um, they're very, very lightweight. They feel like they have aluminum handles. So, the lightweight will make them a whole lot easy, you know, easier than some of the other heavy duty, you know, heavy feeling brushes to use. It says, um, call us high maintenance, but it is uh, not enough for our makeup brushes to help our favorite products go on flawlessly. They look pretty on the vanity when they're not in use. The metallic brush. Looks super luxe, and the 100% vegan bristles make application a breeze. Um, I already know that if this one brush performs as well as this brush, it will be my favorite brush. Now, these brushes are light, lightweight, um, and I, this is my favorite brush. So, um, the aluminum handles, um, I'm not going to let them uh, deter me. You know, them being so lightweight and feeling uh, inexpensive. $50 is not inexpensive for brushes. It makes them $10 a piece. And um, now that I get to thinking about it, this is a very, very lightweight brush. And maybe that is why I like it so well, along with the fact that it applies my eyeshadow beautifully. So I cannot wait to try these other fair brushes. There is the, uh, let me see if I can read this on here. There is the 35E Tapered Blending Brush. We have the, let me get my magnifying glass over here. We have the um, 205 Fly Wings Brush. We have the 65E Large Shading Brush. The 6 Short Shading Brush. And the 3 Mini Tapered Blending Brush. But my favorite brush is the 30... E. So was one of these a 35E? Yes, this is a 35E. So I know I'm going to love that brush. If you've never tried a Farrow brush, they are. I love that other brush. So I'm so excited to get these brushes. I was so excited when I saw that in my box that I, that I was getting these. And the last product in my box. I was also excited when I opened it up and saw that the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette that I got was in mauve. They were offering three shades and I was hoping for the mauve and this was the shade that I got. And I've not color swatched it yet because I was going to color swatch it with you. Um, I love, love, love this. I have looked at it at the store and I had thought about getting it. But I didn't, so let me color swatch this. Here are the top three shades. Let me wipe off my fingers. So I can do the next three. So I am really looking forward to trying this palette out. Let me wipe off my fingers so I can do the next three. A beautiful beautiful palette so I'm so looking forward to using this palette so this was a really good box this palette retails for $27 so um, I am so excited with this box 20, 40, 60, 70. 
The value of my box was $147, so for $25, my box $147, so I'm so excited about it. And I'll show you quickly again what I got. I got the uh, Candy Johnson and Pure Lease um, Butter Me Orange Creamsicle Body Butter, which loving on that. The beautiful $50 Farrah brushes, which I'm so excited about getting these. I love these Farrah brushes. I got the $27 Huda Beauty um, eyeshadow palette in the um, Mob Obsessions, which love, love, love that. I got the um, Mael Above and Beyond Mascara, which retails for $20. You all know I'm a mascara junkie. Can't wait to try that out on a Try It Tuesday. Of course, you know, anytime I do anything on a Try It Tuesday, that I've tried it for at least a week before I do it on a Try It Tuesday. And I got the Benefit Sunbeam Golden Bronze Complexion Highlighter, which looks really pretty on my hand. And I will be anxious, anxious to try that out. So, a uh, really good box this month. I'm going to uh, really be excited about trying every product in this box. So, if you don't know about um, the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, I'll put some information down below. It's $25 a month. And it's great. I absolutely love it. So, I'll put more information about Ipsy Glam down below. And um, if you've not already subscribed to Ipsy, check them out. Um, if you've not already subscribed to my channel, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Give me a thumbs up and a share and be sure to share the love, not the hate, because there's so much hatred in this world. And um, like I always say, if you love someone, make sure they know it because life is too short and you never know when it may be the last time that you get to tell someone that uh, you love, that you do love them and it may make a difference in their life and their decisions that they make. So, uh, Share the love, not the hate. Remember, I love you. And uh, until the next time, Jim's up.